Hello friends, Tony here. In this video I want to work with uh, filament authentication features. So we are going to create a login registration, password reset, email verification and profile kind of a Laravel breeze with filament. So let's create a project first. I'm going to open a terminal and I'm going to open warp here. And let's say Laravel new and the name is going to be I'm going to name it filament house hit enter no starter kit let's say paste here no and create the project let's go to the filament documentation we need to change the minimum stability to be dev in the composer JSON and then Run the Composer Require Filament and PHP Artisan Filament install. Okay, so the application is ready. Let's see the in the filament dash out. And I'm going to open this with a VS Code. So the first thing, let's go here and I want to create the filament out database. So I'm going to open the table plus and let's say new here, paste that name, click OK. And I'm going to say open, but it's not necessary. Let's close this and let's run now the artisan migrate. So artisan migrate here, good. Let's open the Composer JSON and we need to change the minimum stability to be dev. Okay, save, close, and then let's open here and say Composer require filament, filament version 3. So copy that and paste it here. Then we need to run the PHP Artisan filament install. So paste that in, hit enter. Now if we navigate the filament auth.test slash admin, uh, sorry, admin, like this. Yeah, we have this sign in and we don't have any user, so let's create a new user. PHP artisan make filament user. So copy that and come here, paste that in. I'm going to name it admin, admin, admin.com and give it the password. Okay, now let's go here and let's log in with that. Admin, admin and add the password. Good. Let's change the dark mode and I want to sign out. And yeah, we have here now sign in. Let's go and see how to use these uh, authentication features. You can easily enable authentication features for a panel in the configuration file. So let's open now the VS code and inside the app providers we have filament and we have the admin panel provider and as you can see we have the login here and now we can add the registration uh, password reset email verification and the profile so let's copy that and I'm going to add right here now if I save right now and let's go to the login and refresh, as you can see now we have sign in or sign up. Let's go to sign up for an account. We have also the forgotten password and now we have the name, email, password and password and confirm password. So let's say test, test 
Google.com and add the password here and confirm the password sign up okay now if I come here yeah we have this profile and right now we have only the name email and the password but if we have more fields we can customize this edit profile so if we go here we add a new class in the profile chain so edit profile class and we need to create that so we need to create a new php class at app filament pages out profile okay edit profile so let's say here php artisan make filament page and inside the out i'm going to create the edit profile hit enter and now inside the app filament pages we have the out directory and the edit profile php class so let's see in filament pages out edit profile and let's scroll down and let's copy this and paste it right here i'm going to remove what we have in this one also use the text input form and uh, edit profile as base edit profile so let's copy that and paste it here and now extend the base edit profile like this we don't have the username so i'm going to just say name here but if we have a username we can add there and now let's go to the admin panel and say on the profile let's use that edit profile inside the so use the edit profile which is let's see inside the app filament pages out edit profile yes good save and now come here and refresh and yeah we have name and name again here because we added this text input if i remove that or if i say username here we don't have the username and the refresh yeah here we have a username and it's empty but you got the idea Okay friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best.